Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I don't believe you're doing good, I don't believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP, JPY and what to expect from the market this week. In case you're just coming across our videos, in case you're just coming across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Now let's start the analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we can see that GBP JPY has bought quite significantly. Um, you can see the RSI has gotten to the overbought region. And if you've been following our channel, you should know what to expect when the market gets to the overbought region, you should start looking out for selling opportunities. Then we can see that after the market got to this region, and of course, this region is also a strong resistance region, you can see that. Then um, we can see last month the market ended as a bearish candle. This is happening after a bullish candle with long up and lower weeks. Then this month of October, we can see the market is currently bearish with a longer lower week than upper week. So um, in our previous videos, we said that after the market gets to this region, we should expect to sell. In fact, this month we're expecting quite a significant sell, but that has not really happened. Now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we can see GBP JPY bots up to this region. You can see even the weekly time frame, the RS and the weekly time frame got to the overbought region. Then when it got here, it sold a bit bought again and sold down to this region then around this region for the past i think uh five weeks we've seen contention among buyers and sellers we've seen the market sell down to this region bought again bought up to this region and sold again so there has been more of contention around this region and we can see the last candlestick here that last week ended as a shooting star which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern then let's consider the daily time frame on the daily time frame we can see the market ranged here yeah the market has ranged here for a while so the last candlestick on the daily time frame is a bearish candle making this a bearish engulfing bar which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern then let's consider the four hours time frame on the first time frame, we can also see there has been contention here. The market bought from here up to this region, sold, got to this region, and bought again, sold down, bought again, and of course, you can see how the market has been moving. It has not really been straightforward for the past, um, I think, three to four weeks. Then, um, towards the end of last week, we can see quite a significant sell. Now, what do we expect from the market this week? That's what this video is about. On the 4 hours time frame, we can see the market is showing signs of a sell. We can see that there are, and there are currently sellers in the market. Then on the daily time frame, we can see the market ended as a bearish engulfing bar, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern. Um, the 10 day simple moving average cross over the candlestick here and is above this other candlestick. So the bearish engulfing bar is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern which shows that the market will sell then the 10 day simple moving average crossing over the candlestick here is a bearish entry trigger then the weekly time frame ended as a shooting star you can see that and the 10 day simple moving average um like i said in a previous video that all the candlesticks from around this region down here has been have all been closing below the 10 day simple moving average. So this shows that there's bearish pressure around this region, even though the bulls have not given in for them to fully run the market. But the market closing as a shooting star last week shows that the bears are currently in the market and are ready to push it down. So for that reason, we're expecting the markets to sell this week and perhaps sell quite significantly. You can see we had marked our tp1 and tp2 for um, a couple of weeks now this was our tp1 this our tp2 and none of them has been attained so far so based on uh, because of how the market closed 
last week, I think the market will make quite a significant sell more than what it is right now. Or quite a significant sell, um, meaning that the previous location for our TP1 is too close to be considered, so we choose to extend it down to this region. And this is our target for this week at TP1 is 179.8. Then TP2 is 178.2. So, um, hopefully we expect TP1 to be attained this week. And if there be strong bearish pressure, it could attain TP2. But we see a greater chances that TP1 will be attained this week. So that's what we're expecting from the market this week. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you. Like what we say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge. If you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading, you don't want to take this trade. You can watch this video for educational purpose and it's going to save you better than risking your heart and money in something you don't fully understand. If you want to get a Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it covers beginners to advanced lessons. It has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book Trading Without Tears. Check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get a Forex course. We also have an option where you can get the same course at 70% discount, but for only one month. So if you can't afford to get access to the course for a lifetime, you should be able to afford to get access to the course at 70% discount. And within that period, you can cover the course. That's watch all the videos and read all the books then you reserve the right to either cancel your access or renew it. If you want to subscribe for a signal service or give proper entry, stop loss and take profit, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service. And if you want to get my book Trading Without Tears, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get a soft copy. If you want a hard copy, send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us the location. We'll tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.